Hi folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel. Recently managed to pick up a PS5, having a lot of fun with that, I've got to say. Uh, but one of the first things I wanted to be able to do was set my new console up to my streaming PC so that I can start recording and capturing gameplay for my main YouTube and Twitch channels. Now, I do already have uh, two capture devices, the 4K60 Pro, uh, that one, and then the HD60S Plus, both from Elgato. Not been sponsored by Elgato at all, but I do stand by their capture cards. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I would recommend either of these for capturing uh, from the next generation of consoles because both of these will allow you to capture at up to 4K 60fps, which will be just the job, I would imagine. Now, however, if, like me, uh, you plug your PS5 in straight out of the box into your capture device, you're going to find something out. You're going to find it ain't going to work. And that's because HDCP is enabled by default. I'm not sure how that works on Xbox, but it certainly works this way on PS5. So I'm going to show you how to disable this. Very important that in order to do this, you have your PS5 connected with its HDMI cable directly into your TV or monitor display. Even if you're trying to just use pass-through on a capture device, you're not going to get a picture until you've gone through this process. So put that to one side for now and connect straight to your display. And what I'm going to do is just open up the Elgato software here. Since I've done this, I can show you how I did so uh, by capturing the footage. Uh, let me just make myself a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. And I've not got a picture. Probably helps if I select the right capture card. There we go. Yes, perfect. Right. So. What we're going to do is head over to settings here on the PS5 and head down to system. And then at system, we're going to select HDMI and then just make sure that enable HDCP is turned off. Now it is turned on by default. OK, so that's why you have to bypass your capture device uh, the first time you do this. Uh, in fact, the every time you do this. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get a signal. But once you've gone ahead and disabled this setting here, as I have, as you can see, then you'll be able to capture content as much as you want and you won't have any issues. Now, I'm not sure if you have to do this on Xbox or not, but please do let us know in the comments. Uh, but this is something you certainly have to do with the PS5, just as we did with the PS4 as well. But anyway, folks, one last thing before I finish off. I just want to mention the pros and cons of both of these devices. Let me just uh, make the webcam bigger again. So they're both fantastic. As I say, I've used them both extensively. The 4K60 Pro is, of course, an internal device. So if you're going to be streaming from a laptop or from a PC that does not have a spare PCI Express 4.0 slot, then the HD60S Plus is going to be your friend in those cases. So bear in mind, this does require a high-speed 3.0 port, USB 3.0 port, in order to work. However, if you do have a spare internal PCI Express 4.0 port, I would actually recommend the 4K60 Pro. I believe it is the superior device, mostly because of the fact that it has multi-app support. By the way, it's the 4K60 Pro Mark II, uh, not the Mark I. But multi-app support is very, very important because what that's going to allow is, for example, whilst you're streaming with OBS Studio, you have all your overlays, your webcam, and, you know, your live commentary streaming, you're going to be able to open a second piece of software, such as the 4K Capture Utility, as I've got here, and have this record in the same gameplay without any of those overlays or commentary, so that you just have a nice, clean recording for editing YouTube videos and what have you later on. With, the, uh, with this one here... You cannot do that. Not straight out of the box, anyhow. Uh, you cannot have multi-app support. You can only have the capture, the captured video going to one piece of software at once. However, there is a slight workaround. It's a little bit convoluted, but I have done a video on that. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a video. I'll link to it in the video description. Uh, but overall, if your computer can support it, I would definitely recommend the 4K60 Pro Mark II. But there we have it then, guys. That's the process on PS5 for disabling HDCP. Very, very simple. Hopefully that helps you out. And if it does, don't forget to drop a like. Thank you so much for stopping by uh, today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.